Italy's highest appeals court has criticized glaring errors in the investigation into the 2007 murder of British student Meredith Kircher. The court acquitted Amanda Knox and her ex-boyfriend Rafael Solicito of the murder in March. It said there was an absolute lack of biological traces of either defendant in the room where Ems Kircher was killed or on her body. Ems Kircher, 21, was stabbed to death in a Perugia flat she shared with Ems Knox. The Court of Cassation, which exonerated the pair, published its reasoning on Monday, as it is required to do under Italian law. It issued a damning assessment of the quality of the prosecution case saying its high-profile nature had an effect on investigators. The international spotlight on the case in fact resulted in the investigation undergoing a sudden acceleration, the court said. Several mistakes in the investigation were outlined by the court in its reasoning, including the fact that investigators burned Ems Knox's and Ems Kircher's computers, which could have yielded new information. The 1st of November 2007 Kircher is killed at her apartment in Perugia. Police find her a day later. The 6th of November 2007, Kircher's American housemate Knox is arrested, along with Solicito and Congolese national Patrick D. Ilamumba. The 20th of November 2007, Rudigt detained in Germany and extradited to Italy. Mr. Lamumba released without charge. The 28th of October 2008, Kt sentenced to 16 years. A judge rules Solicito and Knox will face a murder trial. The 4th of December 2009, Knox and Solicito found guilty of murder and sexual violence, and jailed for 26 and 25 years. The 3rd of October 2011, Knox and Solicito acquitted. The 31st of January 2014, Convictions reinstated. The 28th of March 2015, Court of Cassation acquits Knox and Solicito in final verdict. The court also wrote that the Florence Appeals Court, which convicted the pair last year, ignored expert testimony that clearly demonstrated possible contamination of evidence and misinterpreted findings about the knife allegedly used to slit Kircher's throat, in what prosecutors had described as a sexual assault. AP reports. The kitchen knife, found in Solicito's house and the supposed crime weapon, was kept in an ordinary cardboard box, the judges noted, adding that no traces of blood were found on it. The judges said that one of M's Kircher's bra clasps, which prosecutors argued carried a trace of Mr. Solicito's DNA, was left on the floor of the murder scene for 46 days, and then was passed from hand to hand of the workers who, furthermore, were wearing dirty latex gloves. Another man, Rudy Hermengt, born in Ivory Coast, was convicted of murder in a separate trial and is serving a 16-year sentence. The court's ruling